Command pilot Charles Conrad on the left with co-pilot Richard Gordon leave their Cape Kennedy living quarters to suit up for the greatest adventure of their lives, the flight of Gemini 11. For Conrad, it's his second space flight. He spent nearly eight days circling the Earth with Gordon Cooper in Gemini 5. Our latest set of space twins, outfitted and ready to go, start their short trip to the launch pad. The Gemini 11 astronauts had to endure two disappointing and frustrating scrubs or postponements of their space journey before this day. It is the most ambitious flight to date, and the primary objective is to achieve rendezvous and docking of the Gemini capsule with its Agena target on the first orbit. Other goals include a two-hour spacewalk, an altitude record, and a maneuver which will tether both vehicles together to create a spinning in space activity. The first orbit link-up is especially important for future moonshots. Both Gordon and Conrad arrive on top of the Titan II rocket, and their good humor is typical of all astronauts. This tiny capsule, crammed with vital instruments and equipment, will be their space home for three days. It's a snug fit. In reclining position, ready for liftoff, Commanders Conrad and Gordon check out their maze of switches and buttons. The hatches are closed and sealed. Their wait begins. Just a short distance away, the Agena lifts off in a perfect launch. The astronauts, unable to see their target bird take off, are told by radio that it is a flawless beginning for the mission. Now it's Gemini's turn. Just 97 minutes separate the twin liftoffs as Titan roars skyward in hot pursuit of Agena. The space race is on at 17,500 miles an hour. For the first time, onboard computers guide the navigation of the capsule, aiming for that first orbit link-up. Unlike previous Gemini flights, Conrad and Gordon are successful in docking with Agena just 94 minutes after launch. And their most important objective, the first orbit rendezvous and link-up, is achieved. In all, four docking maneuvers are completed, two by each astronaut. Training proves important as cameras are set up and prepared to shoot just as the astronauts do in actual flight. The attachment of a tether to bind both capsule and satellite is practiced in training and accomplished by Gemini 11's crew in space. <laughs> 